Hi guys, it's Alexis here, and I just want to speak to you quickly in this video about brain set versus mindset, biology versus psychology, and the reactions versus response. All right, so firstly, I just want to speak really about the psychology of things and how people have been using this model for quite a long time, uh, where we've been saying, right, okay, um, let's, let's think positively about what we want, plan it out, uh, and then just go and get it. The more we think about it in a positive light, then it's going to come to us. All right, so I mean, this this goes whether it's for your training, whether it comes for uh, cats for nutrition, or any other goals that you're trying to achieve. That's the kind of model that we've been using. Um, now, the biology, the biology element um, of this kind of counteracts that. It says that it can't be possible. And this, uh, and this sort of diagram will hopefully um, be able to tell you why and, and how that is. All right, so here I've got draw a picture of the brain. All right, and if the brain through its developmental stages. So the first stage that the, the brain develops is the brain stem, okay? But uh, it's also known as the reptilian brain. So the first part, the most primitive part of our brain. Now that part of our brain is responsible primarily for keeping us alive. So it looks at um, our fight, flight, freeze re mechanisms, all those, all those things that keep you alive, uh, and they work instantly without you even having any sort of, um, any sort of input to it. You don't really get to control any of that. It just happens. All right. So, the second area, our area of our brain that's developed is the mammalian brain. Okay, uh, that's to do with your relationships, your, your love, your belonging to a group, belonging to a tribe, that sort of that sort of area. Okay? Then the third area that we've got is the human brain, the neocortex, so the newest part of your brain that helps you or helps us essentially to be, it's what it's what allows us to become human. Alright? So this area of your brain is what is responsible for forward thinking, planning, um, and all those sort of things that we take for granted as being human. Alright? So having that having that sort of insight into what can happen next. Um, and then responding to it. Okay, so this is where that comes in. Okay, so when when we feel that our body is under, when our brain feels that we are under threat in any physical way, emotional way, um, psychological way, any way at all, it kind of brings you back into your reptilian brain. Okay, so it brings you back into your reptilian brain, and you react as opposed to respond. All right, so. Um, for example, if you're crossing the road and a car's coming at you really quickly, you turn, you turn around, you see the car, and instead of thinking about it and going, mm, I should move out of the way, I should take a small step back, I should move this muscle here, take a little step back, you actually react to it. You don't think, you just jump out of the way and you're safe. Okay, So that's sort of an instance where your brain has kind of gone, all right, I'm safe. Uh, I need to get safe, get me out of here, move me out quick. So that's the reptilian brain speaking. All right, so um, that's all we're going to cover in this one. I just want to keep it brief and just keep it simple so that you can kind of understand the concept of, of parts of the brain and how they react. All right, so think about that and also think about how that can tie in with some of the goals that you've been trying to achieve, some of the things that you've been trying to do and kind of see where... Um, where you may have been reacting as opposed to responding, okay? I hope you find it helpful.